let's show service monitoring in action. If I were to take one of my services here, and I'm logged in, by the way, as the application owner. Application owners have the ability uh, to view service monitoring statistics. I'll pull up an HA service. When I pull it up, you'll see two partitions, which makes sense, right, on two different separate HSMs. And I have this option, include service data. And that means it's going to pull partition utilization metrics, those QS metrics, from the HSM. That also means that the policy is enabled. So if I check each HSM, and I ran a HSM show policies previously, you will see allow partition utilization metrics is on. It's number 49, by the way. And the same thing for the other one. You could turn it off. Uh, it is HSM-wide policy, so once you enable it, it will be running for uh, collecting data for all partitions. If I go down and scroll down, under service data, you'll see a whole plethora of information. And this is the total amount of crypt operations that have occurred over a period of time that I have. And you'll see things like encrypting, decrypting, signing, verifying, key generation, key duration, and other things. You can filter through. You have a nice graph and show the operations and a trend to see, let's say, operations per second over time. And I can do it over the last hour, for today, the last 90 days, for example. And you can try to view peaks and view the application behavior and how it's using the HSM partition. And this is an HA group, so it's an aggregate of the two. As well, under client connections, I can view uh, current active NTLS sessions from the client. So this gives you a lot of vis visibility because if you think about it, if you have many applications, many HSMs spread across your infrastructure, it's kind of hard to figure out, okay, which one is running the Luna client for HA and currently active over what IP, right? What host? So you can actually view that uh, device, the HSM device, the client address, currently the NTLS tunnel is closed, but it gives you all of that information all through one console, which I think is very helpful. If I were to pull up our admin console, they also have servers monitoring abilities, but there's a little bit extra that they have. So under custom notifications, as an admin, I can set up global notifications so I can send out emails uh, if I configured my SNMTP uh, relay, where you can track a moving average. And this moving average here is that you'll have fluctuations in a crypto operation count, and you set the sensitivity to exactly what you want. Is that a high fluctuation, a low fluctuation? So you don't want false positives. But when you do have that fluctuation, you can figure out uh, if something is being hammered, resources are being uh, consumed and hogged over a particular period of time. Do you want a persistent change, right? Not just a fluctuation deviation of a very small amount that will kind of just create noise in your environment, but persistent changes in that crypto op count. And you can, from there, understand uh, maybe what's really going on. If something's persistent for 30 minutes, what was actually going on? Was it a peak time in sales? Is it this application um, was under attack or being compromised for whatever reason? Uh, what was really happening? Now, you're not going to be able to troubleshoot service uh, monitoring uh, data and then take that and say, okay, let's troubleshoot our P11 application or our Java application. That's not the point of this. This is more from the higher level of an admin to understand what's happening on the partition, the HSM, and what type of operations are being performed to make better uh, resource allocation and provisioning decisions down the line. That's one of the main use cases, whether it be for HA or a standalone partition. And the same goes for a device as well. You can use it for a lot of different things to find problems on a device. But you're not troubleshooting, as I said, I think back in module number one, individual application level uh, code problems because you misconfigured uh, how you perform a signing and verification. I mean, you could. You could go ahead and say, okay, we're not doing a verification. Why? Because this application performs this particular function. Or you don't see any key generation. Or if you do see key generation, perhaps this is a red flag that something is going on that it shouldn't do if you set up a static uh, token signing key that never changes or rarely for your ADFS environment. So there's many different avenues you can get to start correlating and uh, through deduction to, or dissertion to understand 
what's really happening.